Hi, I'm Dawson and I'm a sales representative here at Powers Guaranteed Generators. So you've decided that you want to get an automatic standby generator, but what size do you need? Today's Tech Talk is going to help answer your questions about how to appropriately size a standby generator. The best way to determine the appropriate size generator is to have a generator specialist visit your home and discuss your needs. At that time, they will also perform a load calculation, which totals the wattage requirements for the items a generator will support. Here is a basic example of a load calculation. Based on this load calculation, you would need a generator in the 10 kW size range to support the items listed above. Now you may be thinking, I don't need a 10 kW generator because I'm not going to be running all these items at once. A 7 kW would do just fine. We used to be able to install a smaller generator than your load calculation indicated, but unfortunately that is no longer the case. In 2008, the National Electric Code changed the rules associated with installing fully automatic generators. Prior to 2008, it was acceptable to install a standby generator with the understanding that the homeowner wouldn't use large wattage appliances simultaneously. Code now states that an automatic generator must be sized to support the entire load connected to the generator or automatic load management must be utilized. Improper sizing of a standby generator could result in electrical inspection failure due to non-compliance with the NEC. Be sure to utilize a generator installer who is familiar with and adheres to the code to ensure your family's safety and to avoid incurring unnecessary expenses associated with a failed inspection. There are three categories of automatic standby generators. The first is an essential loads generator. You pick and choose the important electrical loads to be supported by the generator and only those loads are connected to the generator. The total wattage of these essential items must be less than or equal to the rated wattage of the generator. The second is a whole house generator. The entire electrical panel is connected to and will be supported by the generator. The calculated load of the home must be less than or equal to the rated wattage of the generator. The third is a whole house generator with automatic load management. The entire electrical panel is supported, but large wattage appliances are only supported if there is adequate generator capacity. As generator capacity becomes available, the power management system will allow the load to be supported by the generator. This allows for a smaller wattage generator to support an entire home while still complying with the National Electric Code and ensuring safe operation. A good place to start is to prioritize your needs as a family. At the end of this video, there is a link to download a chart that can help walk you through the process. Just simply enter your email and the chart will be sent to you. Thanks for checking in with today's Tech Talk. If you want to learn more about load management or are curious about what size generator we would recommend for you, just give us a call. We would be happy to discuss your options.